What is going on YouTube? Lamont on the run. Today we are in Medina, Ohio. Or is it Medina? I don't know. So this is Bueller's Fresh Foods. It appears to be some kind of a market. So let's go in here and check out the scene with my gangster lean. And while we're in this supermarket, we're going to be talking about a pretty controversial subject. That subject, of course, is George Floyd. The reason why I'm speaking about George Floyd today is because it was in the news that the Texas Board of Pardons and Parolees has decided to not grant George Floyd a posthumous pardon from a 2004 drug conviction. So back in 2004, George Floyd sold an undercover cop by the name of Gerald Goins $10 worth of crack cocaine. He buys the cocaine in a crack form. Then he tells his buddies, I just bought some crack from George Floyd. And then they go and they arrest him. They charge him with sales. He ends up doing about, I want to say about 10 months in jail. And then later on, blah, blah, blah happens, yada, yada, yada. So in October of 2021, the Texas Board of Pardons and Parolees, they're the ones that suggested, they unanimously voted to suggest pardoning George Floyd. And then they were going to send it up to the governor of Texas, Greg Abbott, right? Now there's only been one person so far that has actually got a posthumous pardon. There's about, I want to say about several dozen people on the waiting list to be pardoned, right? But then a couple weeks ago, they decided against suggesting the pardon because, quote unquote, there's some kind of procedural errors in the application. But the people who submitted the application to pardon George Floyd uh, they could refile another application in two years. Now, me personally, I don't know what the purpose of this all is. Who knows? But I believe the reason why they're, why they're going for this uh, pardon is because, uh, well, Jared Goins appears to be a very bad banana. Okay. In 2019, uh, this guy submitted a uh, search warrant for a judge to approve because uh, a couple, 58-year-old Dennis Tuttle and his wife, 59-year-old Regina Nichols, well, apparently they were selling heroin out of their house. There's only one problem. Officer Goins lied. And in the raid, both the husband and wife were shot and killed. And now Goins is being charged with two counts of felony murder. On top of that, 150 drug arrests that have been attributed to him have been dropped by the prosecution's office. Okay, so this guy is in a world of trouble. He's fighting for his freedom right now, saying that, you know, all these charges are trumped up, but it looks like this guy is a, uh, he's a bad egg, you know what I mean? He's a bad egg. So let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that George Floyd should be posthumously pardoned because of that 2004 drug conviction? By the way, he did buy the crack or sell the crack. You know, me personally, I don't know what the purpose of pardoning him is other than just to make him look more and more like the martyr that he is not. Now, that is not to say that I'm racist. No, no, it's easy for you guys to have stopped the video three minutes ago and say that I'm racist. It's always best, in my personal opinion, that when you listen to somebody, you should always listen to their words before laying claim 
of the accusations of racism. That's just my, my personal opinion. But uh, I'm sure I'm going to get some people in the comment section saying, hey, he didn't deserve to get killed. I don't think anybody's really saying that. I actually don't really believe George Floyd was a bad person. He just had a drug problem. That's really about it. I don't think anything more or less of him because I think that a lot of us have to remember and we have to remember that at the end of the day, George Floyd didn't cause any of this rioting, looting, murders. There is about two dozen people that were killed in some form or fashion to direct relation to the riots from the whole George Floyd thing, right? So we all have to remember this guy had absolutely nothing to do with all of the rioting, all of the looting, all of the people that got killed in those riots. And personally to me, it's kind of a shame that all of that death, all of that destruction, all of that nonsense is attributed to George Floyd when in actuality he had nothing to do with it. He was dead. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you think. I got to go. I am out of here. Oh, by the way, $9.99 for this bird feeder. I bought these same bird feeders down in Mississippi for two bucks each. That's why I bought 30 of them. All right, guys, got to go. Catch up with y'all later. Have a good one. Peace out.